Platinum Trophies. Am I right? Hey guys, welcome to another video I'm going to be talking about some Platinum Trophies. I apologize if you hear in the background a lot of noise. There's a big storm going on right now. It's fucking huge. It's like a hurricane almost outside my house. It's crazy. And I thought, hey, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Let's talk about some Platinum Trophies on YouTube video fucking rights. Um, I am not like a hardcore trophy hunter. But I do collect trophies. I'm like a, a mild trophy hunter. <laughs> I only can get them if I'm up to the challenge and stuff. Uh, every game I do play, though, I always do look at the trophy list and see if I can do it. Uh, I currently have 58 platinum trophies. And to some people, that's rookie numbers. To other people, it's very impressive for someone who is not a trophy hunter. I get it. I get it. Um... But, <laughs> I'm not talking about the ones I've earned. I'm talking about the ones I went for and gave up on. Yes, uh, these aren't games that I, I just played and didn't even go for the Platinum. And they're very hard games. No, no, no. Like, I'm not counting games I just played for fun, whether online or just the story. Uh, but I didn't go for the Platinum. I just wanted to play them and just to play them and then that's it. Now, these are legit games. I tried my hardest to get the Platinum, and I just gave up on it. I just couldn't do it. I put the hours in. I put the dedication in. I thought I had the skills to do them or the patience to do them, but I was wrong. These are these games, so let's get to it. It's not a top 10 list. It's just 10 games. I gave up on the Platinum. Let's start with the first one because it's a collection, my first one. And that is the Nathan Drake Collection. Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, uh, Among Thieves, and Drake's Deception. Uh, this, like, these games aren't super hard to platinum, actually. The trophy list is not too crazy. I've actually gotten almost all the trophies except for a couple. Like, finding all the treasures, you just need a guide. Kill all these, uh, kill 25 guys with all the weapons in the game. Not too crazy, not too difficult. Uh, beat the game, but it's beating the game on crushing difficulty. I just can't do it. I'm not the person who beats games on the hardest difficulty. It's just it's way, way too fucking hard. It's so hard. Uh, I, I beat all the games on normal difficulty, and I did try with Uncharted. I tried with the first one, uh, Drake's Fortune. I tried to do a crushing playthrough. Made it about a third of the way, and I just couldn't do it. It was pissing me off. And when I get too angry, I just turn the PlayStation up, and I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done with this. And also, like, there's also speedrun trophies. I don't like to speedrun through games. I like to take my time. It's just how I play games. I take my time. I look for things. Like, if I'm looking for treasure, how am I supposed to be doing speedrun? But that's why you do a second playthrough. But I just don't find a game enjoyable when I'm speedrunning through it. It's not enjoyable. It's not how I play games. I just, if there is a speedrunning trophy in the game, I'm out. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. It just sounds annoying. sounds stressful. I can't do it. And like, I would need like a stopwatch to get the precise time. And if I did a speed run and I beat the game and I didn't make the time, I would be losing it. So I just can't do it. So Uncharted, I love the game so much. They're some of my favorite video games ever. I just can't do the crushing difficulty and the speed running trophies. So I tried. I just can't do it. I'm sorry, Uncharted, don't have the Platinum for them. All right, next up is another collection of games. That is the Crash Insane Trilogy, Crash Bandicoot. Everybody knows, if you know this channel very well, I'm a huge, die-hard Crash Bandicoot fan. Love the Crash series. Uh, even some of the, like, obscure Crash Bandicoot games, like Crash Bash is so good. Love Crash Team Racing. Even um, Twin Sanity is pretty damn good. I, I, I am just a huge Crash Bandicoot fan, but the original trilogy, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, 3, Warped, oh, I love these games with passion. Grew up with them, played them on the PS1, I loved them. When they came back as a full-blown remake, I was like, hell 
fucking yes. And I went for the Platinum, because I knew it would be a pretty hard Platinum, but I'm like, I can do it. I'm a really great Crash Bandicoot player. I'm very good. I consider myself a pretty decent Crash player. But the fact that I can't do the Platinum just shows you how, maybe, how shitty of a player <laughs> I am. Oh, God. The thing is, I got all the gems in all three of the games. I got them all. Got them all. Got all the gems. Gems are not my problem. Like, I can't, like, I, I, I can find the boxes, get the boxes, not problem. Doing levels over and over again, finding the secret areas, not something I'm bad at. It's speedruns. Because Crash Bandicoot does speedruns. The relics, the time trials, and I know you get the speedy shoes and stuff, but holy, I, okay, hold on. Before I get, I, I, I could have gotten the Platinum for Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. It's not too difficult. I was literally two trophies away. I just kind of stopped playing it because I was just getting annoyed at the other two. But first two Crash games, getting the gold relics in those levels were just too fucking hard. I tried. I, I pound the pavement, especially doing the polar, bo polar bear runs and uh, the sewer level in Crash 2 is impossible to do that time trial. I just, I can't, I just couldn't do it. My my, my mind just couldn't dedicate myself. I, just, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't. I tried, I'm a huge Crash fan. I love the Crash Man cute series. I thought it would have been amazing to have a platinum trophy in all three of the games, just like what I did with Spyro Re Reignited Trilogy, but those are very easy platinums. Crash, gave up, tried, but wasn't good enough. All right, next is Chivalry 2. Chivalry 2 was, I'd never even heard of this series. It just came on PS Plus, and I went for the platinum because I was playing online with a couple buddies of mine, and they it were just fun, fun battle strategy games. Get to play as the, these soldiers and just fuck shit up, do the raids, do the killings and stuff. And the trophies didn't seem that hard. It was just a lot of grinding, and grinding is something I don't care about. Doing collectibles and doing grinding is not something that scares me away from trophies. It's challenging stuff. It's just stuff that, you know, it's perseverance, I guess. I don't know. Um... So this one is like, you know, get 1,000, 2,000 kills, uh, get 10 wins in each of the locations, get 10 wins of each of the different types of armies. Did all of those. Not very hard. It was just stupid miscellaneous trophies that were just getting on my nerves, and I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And some of them were just luck-based. One of them was the stupidest one, is kick someone off a bridge. I can't do it. I tried. I tried so hard to kick someone off a bridge, and I just always ended up dying. <laughs> it's like I couldn't get the trophy. I'm just like, why can't I get this trophy? I can get 2,000 kills, but I can't kick someone off a bridge. Another one is kill, like, 10 soldiers with bread. Holy, uh, uh, throwing bread at someone takes no damage off of them. And the only way to do that is when you're both, like, in the peasant mode, when you're both, like, peasants and stuff, and the health bar is not very big, which is not a lot of the times and not a lot of levels and stuff, so it's very luck-based. But killing, like, ten people with bread? Was it ten or five? Five or ten people with bread. I couldn't even kill one person with bread. It was so hard. I'm like, how do people do this? Like, I just, I couldn't do it. And also the big one, get 50 kills in one match. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. The most I got was 21. And that was like a personal best for me. I was like, I guess I'm not very good at this game. But I tried. I got a lot of the trophies. I tried to go for the platinum. That would be a really cool, awesome platinum trophy of Chivalry 2. But nope. Nope. On to the next one. <laughs> All right, the next one I completely just gave up on. And I'm not ashamed to say it, it's Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> and I know people are like, why the fuck did you even try? This is very, it's one of the most notoriously hard PS4 Platinum trophies. Why would you even go for that? Uh, I'm a huge, like, I'm a Devil May Cry fan. And I, I thought it was pretty damn good. Um, and I, I played on uh, on Sparta difficulty. And I was like, I'm pretty fucking good at this, man. I can do this shit. I got all the collectibles. I got all the miscellaneous trophies. I, can, I beat the the levels, all the characters. I can do it. I can do it. I can do the hell on hell. Let's do this. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Again, difficulty trophies are not my forte. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Like, 
can't do extreme difficulty or anything like that. I just can't do it. Simple as that. Just can't do it. <laughs> All right, the fifth one. Uh, Mafia. The first Mafia game. The, the complete remastered. Never played the first Mafia game. Uh, when it was out for PS2 and stuff, uh, I actually played them a couple years, uh, two years ago. I played all three of them, loved the series, that was a great series. I was never a GTA fan, I think this is better than GTA. But the first Mafia, I, I, went, I tried to go for the Platinum because I had so many, I had all the trophies, but one. I'm like, I, I, I'm doing this, like, I beat the game, I got all the collectibles, which is a lot, finding the foxes and the, the, the magazines and all the cars for the garage. I did all of it. I did it all. The only thing I couldn't do is beat the game on classic mode. I'm like, okay, I know difficulty trophies always scare me away, but I can do this. No, I can't. <laughs> I tried so hard. As soon as I got to the racing part, I couldn't do it. Like, doing the racing scene in, in Mafia is so super hard even like when you're playing on easy mode but classic mode you turn your car once it's flipped over and you're not winning that race i literally couldn't win i could not win the race i just couldn't do it oh my god it was so bad it was so embarrassing and it's it's so hard on classic it, like the cops pull you over if you go like a, like a kilometer over the speed limit again insta down we get shot just it's it's brutal and it was one trophy I needed to beat the game. I just, I couldn't do it. I'm like, nope, can't do it. I'm, 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 I'm stepping out on this one. Just can't do it. Love you, Mafia, but nope, can't do it. All right, next. Next, Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> this is an excellent, an excellent game. So good. Loved it. Uh, I enjoyed the campaign and the online multiplayer. Just so good, so fun, because Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS2, I think, is one of the greatest Star Wars games ever made, right up there with Knights of the Old Republic. It is an amazing game, and this re this remake, remastered, is really solid. The campaign was solid. The online multiplayer was great. I got all the trophies, almost, for online multiplayer. It's just, there was a trophy again that was stopping me, and that was, oh my god, is, um... Destroy the hero ships. <laughs> and you had to destroy like 20 of them. And I'm like, how am I doing this? One thing, I suck at space battles. That was like the one thing I was always terrible at Battlefront. And destroying the hero ships, especially destroying, what, 25 of them, is so impossible. For one thing, most people don't play as the hero ships because you're the fucking target. And then when you face up against the hero ship, their health bar is like insanely high and it's impossible to destroy them. And then when you and then when you even get close to destroying them, someone else destroys it for you. It's just fuck this. Fuck this. Couldn't do it. Like I, I got almost all the trophies for Battlefront 2. It was a relatively easy trophy list until this. And I'm like, you yeah, know, fuck this. I can't do it. <laughs> All right, the seventh one is very Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I tried to go for the Platinum. Yeah, tried to go for this Platinum. And it didn't seem that hard. I played on the hard difficulty. It wasn't that bad. Final Fantasy is something I'm very, very good at. I know the story. I know the, I know this gameplay because 15 I played, and I was very good at that. I did it. Beat it on hard mode. Did it. <laughs> What was the, the was, uh, yeah, you're already thinking, what was the trophy that stopped you this time? The pull-up trophy. Can't do it. Sorry, I just, yeah, I tried. I tried for two hours of doing the pull-up challenge, and I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I don't, I can't do the rhythm of it. I just, I, I was at a loss. I just, I'm so frustrated. I, just, I, I couldn't do it. But literally, I, I'm like, I don't know how people do this shit. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm an idiot or something. I don't know. So, yep, I hopped out of that one, and I'm like, will I regret it? Probably, but maybe the next Final Fantasy VII will, uh, you know, do something different. I don't know. <laughs> Our eighth one is, speaking of Final Fantasy, Crisis Core. <laughs> yep, Crisis Core is another one I tried to go for the Platinum, and I did, I did beat it on hard. Again, this one was not a specific trophy. It was just 
tedious. I was just kind of, I put so many hours into the game and I couldn't beat Minerva and I just, there were so many of the battle challenges you had to do and just, I don't know, I just, after like 60, 70 hours and as much as I love, I adore this game, I just, I was like, I'm kind of down, I just, I, 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 I want to go play something else, so, nothing too exciting there, just couldn't do it. <laughs> Alright, my ninth one, uh... Yes, my ninth one is the Lego Harry Potter uh, games, uh, years one through four and five through seven. Um, I love these games. They're very fun. They're very enjoyable. Uh, the Lego games are really good. This one, again, it's, it's fun. I love playing through the story and getting some of the collectibles and doing the challenges. But after that, I just, I just don't have it in me to keep going as much as i love the game and i love the harry potter series i'm currently working on the platinum for hogwarts legacy i don't have it yet i'm just getting all the collectibles now it's a lot of collectibles but uh uh this one it just it just it feels more tedious tedious like i know collectibles can be tedious but it's just depending on how the game does it. It's just like repeating a lot of things in the game just gets on my nerves. The puzzles and going back to things, learning things, going back, doing this, going back. It just gets annoying. I just, I, I just, after playing it, beating it, I just didn't want to go back and do the platinum. <laughs> I don't know. It just wasn't my thing. I don't know. And I love Harry Potter. And again, I'm doing Hogwarts Legacy, but I guess Hogwarts Legacy is just so much bigger. The world is so beautiful. The quests are just so much fun. And even getting the collectibles is a lot of fun. So it's just more fun and enjoyable to me. So I guess each his own. All right, the very last one. <laughs> I can't believe I tried for this one. Uh, it literally only a very few people have it, but I tried. That's Fall Guys. Fall Guys, I, I'm a huge Fall Guys fan. I love it. I put in over 100 hours into Fall Guys. Um, I loved it. As soon as the game came out, I was an instant fan. I'm not always a big, like, tournament-style kind of guy. Like, it's just not kind of my thing. But I dug the shit out of this. I thought it was funny. It was enjoyable. Playing with friends and family it was great. It's just, it's a hard platinum. But I said, you know, fuck it. I'll dedicate... <laughs> two, three years of my life to see if I can do it. That's what I did, and I just still couldn't do it. Still couldn't do it. I'm officially not playing Fall Guys anymore. <laughs> After so many tries, so much falling, so much trophies I popped, I have two trophies left. And uh, one of them I can get, but I just don't see the point. The two trophies I'm missing is win 20 episodes, and the infallible one is win five episodes in a row. That's the one that's just going to stop me. I try to go for the infallible one because I've won like 17 episodes. So I can easily get the, the 20 trophies, the 20 episodes trophy easily. But there's no point. I'm not going to get the infallible ones. So I don't see there's a point to any of that. So I tried. I tried for the infallible one. There was one time I got pretty close. I won three episodes in a row. And I was very excited. I'm like, I can do this, man. It's possible to do this. And then I did a round of slime climb, and I was out in 15 seconds. And then just all my hopes and dreams went away. And then after that, I never got close. After I won one episode, I made through halfway through another one, and just got. And I just, I never, I couldn't even win two in a row. After I won one, I just couldn't do a second one in a row. That three in a row was the closest I ever got to the infallible, and I just don't know. I know there's ways to like boost it. I just, I don't, none of my friends are even very good at this game, so I don't even know. Even playing the team ones, I tried the teams and stuff, and I won one episode again, but I couldn't do, I think I won two in a row one time, but like I could never even get close to five in a row. Just, it, it was too hard, and I tried. Again, I only need two trophies, and I got the platinum, but couldn't do it. I guess I'm not a skillful gamer, but whatever. So yeah, there we go, guys. Here you go. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this. This is 10 platinum trophies I gave up on. So let me know in the comment section below. Please tell me what are your platinum trophies you gave up on. And do you have any of the platinums of these games that I gave up on? Let me know how you all did it. <laughs> comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. And join the dark side.